welcome to a new tutorial on new growth, my new Blender add-on. Let's first create a simple tree. We use tree from the add mesh menu to start a simple tree at the cursor location. We minimize our brush to make drawing a little bit simpler and start with a simple tree. While pressing ALT and pressing the left mouse key, we draw the main stem. We can also draw additional stems. And if we are not satisfied, we can use undo, Control z to make sure that we get what we want. We continue by creating a simple crown with a few main branches. And now that we have our tree skeleton or base tree, we enlarge our brush to quickly create all sorts of little branches and twigs. Notice that in the real-time representation, the branch is growing in thickness according to the number of connected branches. When we are done, we click return and we get this tree skeleton that we can skin by cli clicking update tree. At this point we have several options to change the characteristics. So for instance by changing this ratio we can allow more of the finer twigs to appear. That's all up to you and you can change that later even after saving. These large rectangular or straight branches you might make them a little bit more wiggly by selecting the wiggle switch which makes the tree look even more natural. Once you're satisfied with the result, you can add a particle system with leaves. So the whole tree consists of a skeleton, but also a parented leaves mesh with a face for every leaf available in the tree. So if we add a suitable particle system to it, we get a tree with leaves. The number of leaves is determined by, uh, by calculating the tree. We set it here by hand, but later we can change that according to the changes in the tree itself. A material is also something that we would like. So we add this tr a trunk material, a bark material to the trunk and have a look at how this looks in rendered view. A pretty simple tree with a rather natural bark and leaves. Now let's create another tree because you are not limited to a single tree of course. We select a position for the 3D cursor to start our new tree. And once we're satisfied we select add mesh tree again to start a new tree. And in this case, we're going to create a tree with a little bit more character. We'll make it a little bit more bent. So let's use our imagination and start drawing a tree. Again, we start off with a small brush, clicking Alt left click with the mouse and create a large curved branch. And we add some other branches that roughly go in the same direction. This will be a windswept old tree or something. We make sure that the branches are not all in the same plane by moving about the camera a little bit and then we start adding smaller branches and twigs with a bigger brush. We can even, if we are not satisfied with the final look, prune certain branches. We can do this by selecting a branch and then uh, pressing K for kill or, uh, and then the actual branch will be removed. So you get the impression of a sawn off branch or a broken off branch. When clicking return and then update tree, the tree will be skinned and again we can change the properties of the final tree um, and add a, a particle system with uh, leaves to the tree 
to see the result. So the particles, the leaves are connected to the leaf mesh and uh, it will be changed. The number of faces in the leaf mesh will be changed by the leaf density once we update tree. And you will see that we now have a tree with more uh, leaves, not just on the endpoints, but a little bit more into the crown as well. Here we want to add another uh, bark material to the tree. And we use the same bark material here. We add it to the trunk. And let's have a look how this looks in, uh, in full view and in rendered mode. There you have it. So this is a tree with a little bit more character. We have of course more possibilities. So let's remove these trees and start over. We start again by positioning the cursor, the 3D cursor on a position where we want to have the root of our tree and start adding a new tree. Now the object of this exercise is to create a tree with more than one main trunk. And we do this by positioning the 3D cursor while drawing and then pressing R for root. And then at every point we press R, a new root element is positioned. And when we start drawing, the trunks will appear not only from the initial point, but also from the new root points, which makes it very easy to create a tree with multiple trunks or maybe a bush or some hedge or whatever, um, while still maintaining the overall uh, natural look. At any point in time, we can add additional root points. So again, if we want to position a point somewhere else, and this was not such a good choice as you see, because it, it makes for a lopsided tree, we press Ctrl Z to undo it and think a little bit better about positioning the new root position. So we make sure that it is at a point a little bit to the side of our main tree. This will be good. Position it at the same height level. So when we are satisfied, we press R to create a new root element. And here we add a new trunk to, uh, to our hedge or uh, Yes, and then we add additional twigs a little bit to the side um, to get a natural little bush with a small side shoot. Again, pressing return when we're done, updating uh, the whole system to skin it. Uh, maybe add as much uh, little twigs and wiggles as is necessary for a real bush. Click update again and uh, Again, add leaves to our leaves mesh and add a. By updating, we make sure that our new leaf mesh gets the appropriate number of leaves uh, configured in the particle system. And when we are completely satisfied after changing the leaf density, we have a look in rendered view and apparently we didn't uh, apply a material to the bark. So that's the last, last step that we want to do before finishing our work. We add the bark material. And when the 3D view updates in rendered view, we have our little bush with four stems, or four trunks and uh, a bark material applied and leaves as well. This is all for now. Thanks for watching and uh, new growth is available on Blender Market.